Hello everybody, welcome to TWS episode 59. We are back with a new TWS episode, and we're kicking off the show with Ricochet versus Bray Wyatt. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali did get challenged by Ricochet and Braun, uh, by Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. And next episode, at episode 60, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali will defend those tag titles against Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. But first, Ricochet and Bray Wyatt have their rematch and to see who is a better man. They had a match a few, like, few years ago where Bray Wyatt injured Ricochet's leg. Lights are off. Bray Wyatt in the ring staring down at his opponent, Ricochet. Bring the bell. Ding-ding-ding. Match has started. As I was saying, they had a match before where Bray Wyatt injured Ricochet's knee, taking him out of action for a while. Bray Wyatt has him in a headlock, but Ricochet bounces him off, pushing him. And Wyatt, looking for a clothesline, Ricochet ducking. Oh, back handspring, Hurricane Rana. And now a kip up and a drop kick to Bray Wyatt sends him out of the ring. The athleticism of Ricochet is incredible. And now running off the... Oh my God, a wicked plancha on the outside to Wyatt. Throwing him back in the ring. And Ricochet staring at the monster. Oh man, terrifying is Braun Strowman. Oh, running right into Ricochet in the cover one. Two, but a kick out. And now Bray Wyatt with another headlock on Ricochet. Now Ricochet slowly getting back to his feet, but Wyatt, a uh, no, a takedown in the headlock once again. No, oh, oh, head scissors kick, but pushing him out of it and running up, but oh, another headlock takedown, and he's in the headlock yet again. Bray Wyatt. Getting him down every single time. Ricochet tries, but now a back body drop. Separating the hold. And now a clothesline by Ricochet. And another. Multiple clotheslines here to Bray Wyatt. And now, oh, Enzigiri. Stunning Bray Wyatt. Oh, springboard cutter off the ropes. In the cover on Bray Wyatt to put him away. And no. Wyatt kicks out. Ricochet. Picking up Ray Wyatt and now throwing him out of the ring. Wyatt goes flying outside. Now what is Ricochet going to do here? Staring at the turnbuckle. What is he doing? He's running. Oh, over the top. And now off the... Oh, caught him. Oh, Uranagi on the apron. He caught him in the moonsault to a Uranagi and running up with the senton. And the cover on Ricochet to... No, to put him away, but Ricochet kicks out. And Wyatt gets him up for the sister Abigail to put him away. Oh, reversal. Oh, Poison Rana. Poison Rana now running up. Hurricane Rana, her roll up. One, two, three. Ricochet puts away Bray Wyatt. But, oh, look at the monster with a big boot. Mustafa Ali trying to fight Bray Braun Strowman, but a choke slam. Oh, and... The Wyatt and Strowman stand tall over Ricochet and Ali. Welcome back to episode 59. We have a bunch in store, but first we have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the ring. Last week we showed Keith Lee who's boss. He decided to come in, interrupt us, and challenge us and decide to beat us and embarrass us. That's not, we're not going to let that slide. And last week we had beat the hell out of him and laid him out, showing him who's the real superstars here in TWS. We are better than Keith Lee, even though he might have got a few fluke victories over me and Kevin, we are still the better wrestlers. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens explaining their actions from last week, but look on the stage, it's Keith Lee. Last week, you both attacked me after I beat Kevin Owens super quickly embarrassing you both I beat both of you but still still you want to attack me after the match you still want a piece of Keith Lee well, how about this you think you're better than me how about you prove it and next week you can take on me both of you against me in a two-on-one handicap match and you can try and prove if you are the better wrestlers or not. Keith Lee setting out a challenge. We accept. 
Oh, and Kevin and Sammy accept handicap match at TWS episode 60. I can't wait. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to TWS episode 59. Alongside, we have Jeff Hardy. As now, we have Roderick Strong versus Tommaso Ciampa in a non-North American title match. Title not on the line. Ciampa versus Roderick Strong. And outcomes first, Ciampa. Champa and Strong both are part of that triple threat match that next episode, including Jeff Hardy for that North American title. But now, Roderick Strong has to take on Champa first. There is the North American champion. Remember, he's not defending the title here tonight. This is a non-title match. And Roderick Strong, first ever North American champion, won it in that ladder match at episode 50. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Match has started. Roderick Strong versus Tommaso Ciampa. Here we go. Both men looking to lock up, but... Oh! Ciampa just smacked him in the face, and now a knee lays him out. He just smacked the champion. He could beat him right here. Imagine he pins the champion. One, two... No! Strong kicks out. Ciampa getting back to his feet, picking up Strong, looking for that fairy tale ending to really put him away, but... Oh! Pushes him off. Oh, and a high knee. My goodness, and now picking him back up in the Yuranagi backbreaker. In the cover now on Champa, but a kick out as well. And now he has Champa in the headlock. Headlock now securely locked in on Champa, but Champa getting back to his feet. And now, oh my god, and now a German roll through knee right to Roderick Strong. In the cover, one, two, no, kick out. Roderick Strong not doing too well here. Champa going back to the top, looking for a high-flying move. But Roderick quickly heads up there as well. And oh, off the top in the cover too. No, a kick out. Wicked butterfly suplex off the top. And now he's picking him up, looking for the end of heartache. But look at Jeff Hardy distracting Roderick. And Roderick telling him to back off of his match. Turn him back around and a kick to the gut. Champa has him up. Fairy tale ending on the champion. Cover on Roderick Strong. Two. Tommaso Champa has just pinned the North American champion. And now he's staring at his opponent next week. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the main event here at TWS episode 59. We have a tag team match between. Here, the first team, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, former tag team champions. Next week, next episode, Aleister Black, the world champ, will defend his world championship against Kyle O'Reilly. But first, we have a tag team match between these two men, the Undisputed Era, and Aleister Black and Buddy Matthews. And the lights are off. And both Buddy Matthews and the world champ are here. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Looks like Aleister Black and Buddy Bob, blah, blah, Bobby Lashley, Bob, not Bobby Lashley, Bobby Fish. Oh, and starting it off, and Bobby Fish. Oh, wicked back elbow, and now a kick, and now another one swiping him on his butt, and now kick, and a moonsault, kip up, wicked combo to kick off the match. My goodness, and now picking Bobby Fish back to his feet. Aleister Black tackles in. But Buddy Matthews picking him up in a powerbomb. Powerbomb Meteora combo. Takes out Bobby Fish in the cover. One, two, kick out by Bobby Fish. Buddy Matthews getting back to his feet. Looking for a super kick to Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish back to his feet. Super kick, no. Reversal into a German suplex. Roll through and now a kick to the side of the head. Rolling him over in the cover on Matthews. One, two, kick out. Now, undisputed era. Looks like they're in control here. Tags in. Kyle O'Reilly gets him up. Oh, a kick in. Brain buster combo. Wicked double team move in the cover. Kick out. Kyle O'Reilly now with the headlock on Buddy Matthews. Last week, Kyle O'Reilly defeated Xavier Woods in the quickest match we've ever seen. And, oh, 
What is Kyler Riley doing? Oh, oh, and now this is how he beat Xavier Woods. Armbar, armbar, Bobby, uh, Buddy L Matthews has nowhere to go. Wicked armbar, Buddy Matthews reaching for the ropes. This is how he made Xavier Woods tap out last week. Could he do it again here? Oh, my gosh. Buddy Matthews might have to tap, but no. Getting him roll up. Oh, no. Picking him up. One arm power bomb. Oh, my God, the strength. And now a clothesline. And then walking over, tags in the world champ. Alistair Black runs in, forearm takes him down. Another forearm. My goodness. And now a third to Kyle O'Reilly. And now throwing him, bouncing him off the ropes. Kick to the chest, lays him down. Double foot stomp. My goodness, Alistair Black on fire here. This is the man he's facing next week for the world title. Looking for the Black Bass. Oh, Ducks it, but oh, I'll kick to the midsection. Big boot, and now a discus forearm takes Alistair to a knee. And now Kyle O'Reilly tags in Bobby Fish. Both men walking over, picking up Alistair, but Alistair with a high knee, and now a kick to the side of the head to Bobby Fish. And now but Alistair Black calling for Buddy Matthews to come back in the ring. Both men in the ring. And now, oh, wicked double team super kick Black Mass combo in the cover. And Alistair Black and Buddy Matthews pick up the win here tonight. And now Black staring down, shocked. Kyle O'Reilly on the outside and Alistair pointing at his opponent next episode. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs>